Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be setting up a simple lock-on system for our player. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So here we are in our scene and I've only installed Game Creator to Core um, because that's all we need for this. Um, and we're going to create a simple lock-on system. So um, let's make sure this is all in place. I'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger. There we go. Um, created a basic gray material just so we don't have that bright white. Um, and then let's add a player. There we go. And let's add a uh, normal character. I'm going to place him 10 distance from us. And there we go. Now, first off, we need to um, set up our camera motor um, and let's turn down these gizmos a tiny bit. Is there way too big? There we go. So we're going to create a uh, camera shot. And uh, in this camera shot, we need to change this to a uh, third person. There we go. So our third person uh, shot is going to be pretty basic. So we're going to have a offset. So local target uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm going to set zoom to 0 0.5 as well. Um, I'm going to turn this off to none. So I don't want any scrolling features for more, and more uh, zoom. Um, it's weird, uh, you know, it's not something we usually see anywhere, so yeah. Um, yeah, we'll leave this the same. I'm going to reduce this by quite a bit. I think this is really, really long. Um, and that's pretty much it. So nothing else. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. Um, anyway, I'll create a duplicate here um, and this will be uh, our focus shot and it's going to be pretty much exactly identical um, except for this is all going to be zero and that's it so we've got our basic shot our camera motor uh, camera uh, has the shot let's give this a go and yeah there we go so it's a pretty basic um, shot nothing all too spectacular um, yeah it's uh, you know it's pretty basic <laughs> nothing else to say about it um, but yeah it's uh, it does the trick and there we go so next up uh, now that if we've created these two and we've got our plane um, it's all about setting up um, our trigger so let's add a trigger here there we go and um, this trigger is going to be uh, input uh, on input. I'm going to use the, the mouse wheel. Um, so mouse press and I'm going to use the, the middle mouse button. Um, we have a forward and back here as well, by the way, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to use the mouse wheel. You don't need to do that. You can pin this to whatever input you want. Um, but the mouse wheel seems like a good one because you don't really use it that much, but everyone has it. And it's there um, quite convenient. Going to do run conditions. There we go. Because um, I would like to have my conditions separate. Then um, let's drag those in. And these conditions are going to make use of a um, local uh, list variable and a local name variable. There we go. So the name variable is going to be a simple bool um, which says locked yes or no. So are we in lock in yes or no? Um, and this needs to be a game objects uh, local list variable. And that's it. Um, we don't need to add anything else here. So that's uh, it's a pretty short list. And then we, let's create our branches. So let's look up that bool, uh, compare boolean, then here variable, um, local name variable, and we're going to drag in our trigger here, um, and it's uh, locked. Then we can copy this, uh, paste it here, and drag it in yet again, and locked. Yeah, there we go. Um, the first one needs to be uh, turned off, so, um, 
So if we're not locked, what is going to happen? If we are locked, this is going to happen. So, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, so first instruction, we're going to do uh, collect and we're going to use collect characters. Now this is the range, the maximum range in which you can lock on. Um, going to do 10, I know that's it's quite, a, quite a big distance. You don't need to do that, of course, um, but it's fine. Uh, and then we're going to store that in that list variable and there we go. Then uh, the next instruction um, is going to be looking at. So look at, uh, where is look at? Start looking at, there we go. Start looking at, and we're going to be looking at uh, variable, local list variable, and we're going to be looking at the character we stored in this local list variable. Um, we can do first elements because we're only going to be um, you know, storing the one, so that's fine. And then the important part, and this is kind of, um, you know, making sure our uh, character input changes as well. Uh, well, not so much input, but the way um, the rotation works. So this is the default um, pivot, and we can already copy that because we'll need that back uh, on this side. Um, but this time we're going to change this to a look at target. Um, update rotation and the target is going to be um, that local list variable and there we go so now that we've set that up we can do a uh, shot so change to shot and we can switch to focus now as you remember the only difference between focus and the normal one is the uh, alignment delay and smooth time it has to be zero because it needs to constantly refresh um, so um, it needs to stay fixed that's why we're making that change um, we can do a, a small smooth there that, that's completely fine uh, way to complete um, just don't make it too big because then it can uh, has the risk of becoming buggy um, and then uh, set bool, there we go. And uh, that's going to be our local name variable, which we're, oh, sorry, which we're going to drag in as well. And that's locked. And that's going to be turned on this time around. And uh, yeah, that's it. So now we need to do the opposite. If we press it again, what is going to be happening if we uh, press that button again so we can uh, we can collapse this, we don't need that again. So um, first off, we need uh, stop looking at. There we go, let's uh, let's do that first. Drag in, um, oh, variable, local list. Drag in that list variable. So we need to stop looking at him. Um, we need to change the this back to the default. Um, we're going to do a, a, sh a clear list because uh, we'd like to empty that list so we can just drag it in um, then we're going to uh, do our shot again so we're going to change back our shot uh, to the new shot uh, to the first shot um, let's yeah I prefer linear actually there we go Way to complete. Let's do linear as well on this first shot. Perfect. Um, and then we need that bool and we can copy that uh, instruction. Let's just copy it over. There we go. Perfect. And then drag it in and it's going to be turned off. So let's give this a try. Cool, so as you can see, this is how it works by default. Now I'm going to press that button and we're locked on. As you can see, the movement type changes as well. Um, pretty nice. Cool, going to press it again and we lose our lock. And yeah, pretty smooth, um, works pretty well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how simple it is to set up a basic uh, lock-on system. 
um, for your game with Game Creator 2. So short video, um, but just wanted to highlight this. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.